Hey, my name is Jakub and I'm a developer advocate at JetBrains. But after work, I'm a dad and gamer, which makes me a dad gamer. Playing games when having kids, well, this is problematic. You probably heard about Steam Deck, Nintendo Switch or Lenovo Legion Go. You can play games instantly, bring it anywhere you want or hide if necessary. What if we could use it not for playing games, but creating them? So I set myself a challenge. Create a game using handheld device without any keyboard or mouse attached, just with gamepad. This device runs on Windows, so we already have the speech text feature available. On top of that, we'll install IntelliJ IDEA, the primary tool for development. We'll use Kotlin Notebook to speed up the development process. Currently on the screen, we can see the exact mapping of gamepad buttons to keys and special keys. The left and right stickers refer to WASD and arrow keys, and this option button will trigger the speech to text feature. As we already have everything in place, we can switch to the IDE and create a new project with Kotlin Notebook. That's exactly the game that we're going to create. Pong. This is the job we'll delegate to our AI assistant together with Juni Agent. And to invoke it, we'll double press the shift key and call AI assistant. Using Kotlin language and swing in the current Kotlin Notebook file, create a Pong game. For the left player, use WASD keys, WS to move the paddle up and down, and for the right one, arrow keys, up and down for the right paddle. Okay, we already have some initial results. The score is not visible, it is using some placeholder variables. Okay, the patch is applied, let's run it again, we can see the score is currently changing. Now allow to fire projectiles from each paddle to score extra points when they hit the opponent. Yes, as you can see, we do not need to hit the ball. Introduce a shield feature, which will stop a paddle from moving, but will save the paddle from the bullets. The paddle is blue and it can't get hit. So, did it work? Absolutely. Is it production ready? Absolutely not. But using Kotlin Notebook, you can really shorten the feedback loop use it for presentation or proof of concept of your new features. AI is a great addition to your workflow, but remember, it's not a replacement, so use it wisely. And it's up to you which results you will get thanks to them. What can I say? That was a game changer. And now, if you excuse me, I have kids to pick up from school.